Welcome back. Earlier we said that there is a grave importance in teaching our children and youth the value and importance of work. And to talk about this very important topic, we're very delighted to be having with us live over the phone, Dr. Maha Mahgoub. She's human development expert and senior consultant. Good morning, uh, Dr. Maha. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, Fine, thank you. Uh, of course, as you all know that without uh, the appreciation and recognition of the value of uh, effort and work and work, working hard, there is no meaning uh, f for any ambition. Uh, if you like to explain this concept to start off with. Yes, of course. Uh, the value of work is very important for days, not only for uh, adults, but <coughs> it's uh, very important to raise up our children on the value of work. So parents must have a serious educational plan that ensures training and educating the child to adopt behavior that carries within many uh, values. And the value of work in particular, parents may face difficulty in raising a child who uh, fully characterizes them. It's been observed recently uh, with uh, the availability of various means of technology for the child the growing behavior of laziness, um, apathy, and dependence among the children, especially those who are spoiled, uh, results in child uh, who cannot rely on, on himself or uh, face the troubles of life later on uh, because he is often impersonal. In fact, the children need to realize the importance of uh, their contribution to the environment uh, in which they are present, uh, which explain the necessity of their participation in household uh, chores, uh, children who are aware of the importance of their role with the family are less likely to feel low self-esteem in um, a world uh, where people need to feel important. Right, of course. From uh, building on this particular important concept that you just kindly explain now, uh, Egyptians have achieved a lot of uh, miracles. Uh, amongst them, or on top of them, is regaining Sinai. And as we are celebrating 42 years after the liberation of Sinai, of course, liberation of Sinai have took us a lot of blood and tears to be able to reach where we are now. Of course, not only that we regain Sinai, we, but we also have turned uh, Sinai into an industrial, touristic, cultural, uh, you name it, commercial hub. And of course, we still have a long way to go also. Uh, this is because of the persistence of the Egyptian character, uh, the hard work, uh, insistence on uh, appreciation and full recognition of the continuous effort that is spent is going to harvest a lot of uh, gain uh, in the near future. If you'd like to elaborate. Yes, of course. <coughs> we have gained a lot uh, from <coughs> Sinai Liberation. And uh, Sinai Liberation Day is a national holiday that Egyptian people celebrate on the 25th of April, the day in which uh, Egypt uh, regained the, the land of Sinai. And of course, all of us know, know uh, carefully that uh, the land of Sinai is a hub of tourism. So we returned a big land for tourism. And uh, all of these, of course, after a long conflict between Egypt and Israel, where it witnessed, it witnessed, it witnessed uh, that uh, first battle during the war of 1973, uh, the results of which were a sweeping victory for Egyptian military policy as Egyptian army and its people exerted a very means possible, the struggle and army to struggle to liberate uh, its land in 1967, then the glorious October War in 1973, and its victory over the Israel occupation army, with the complete withdrawal from occupying the state and raising the Egyptian flag over the Sinai Peninsula. Um, uh, after complete the recovery of uh, Israel occupiers. So uh, the basis of the October victory is the struggle to change reality from defeat to victory and from brokenness to uh, bitterness and pride. 
owners and owners and it's necessary to summon of spirit of October victory and be inspired by determination and determination of Egyptian soldiers and people in this world in this world and <coughs> make it a history map for the future building modern Egypt and across over the new republic and completing the journey construction and the comprehensive development of course. Right. Of course, in order to uh, be prosperous and to achieve uh, a bright future, you have to follow a footsteps or uh, a, a systematized, a systematic uh, plan uh, throughout your whole life, starting from an early age, to be able to achieve your goals. Uh, that's why it becomes a must to teach our children some values and some mm -hmm. concepts to appreciate the value of effort and uh, to be ready at any time to go anywhere and uh, have an, go an extra mile in order to achieve <coughs> success. What is the importance of uh, teaching uh, our uh, children and youth the value of effort and work and hard work? Yes, it's very important to teach children uh, the value of work from the early beginning. So the work, uh, the work value um, uh, maybe can it could be a good arm for the children with values and morale to follow in uh, in their life. Uh, the child will um, will become a person who sets his goals and makes the life decision in accordance with his values and goals. Which uh, um, uh, if he is if he achieves them with the hard work, he will feel very happy, satisfied with him themselves. So there are some values could be in, um, uh, planted in our children, meaning such as work fun. So we have to, to to just to teach them that work sometimes could be fun if we like it convincing pre-child uh, that the work is fun somewhat easy and you can implement it by identifying some fun activities which will make the child develop a positive view of subject. Other, on the other hand, maybe you can motivate the children to do some work, identifying, identifying things that may serve as motivation for the child, children. The reward of completing the work or task uh, assigned to him should be should not always uh, be a material reward as it could be a trip recognition playing games or something like that uh, fight uh, cuddling so maybe some kids they are cuddled so in, de in development countries despite of avail availability of all means of luxurious living of children of wealthy families they ask the others children if they want to buy an expensive uh, item to help um, to help with whatever money uh, they can get to buy what they want uh, or whether it's from their saving or by doing work to others another uh, very important uh, value such setting goals just uh, we have to teach uh, the children how to set different goals how to work towards achieving and ask him uh, to initially choose goals uh, that are close and, and that is uh, easily achievable because the difficult, difficult long-term goals may be, um, it's, it will put him under frustration when he is unable to achieve them. Right. Of course, there, like you said, uh, there, there could be some rich families or not necessary niche. I mean, people with a culture that if they would like to uh, save their kids uh, the time and effort as much as possible and try to find uh, connections and pull strings in order that they could reach what they want. I mean, they do not leave them to experience life and to take the, uh, um, uh, the full experience until they reach their goals. They uh, try to assist them in the wrong way. So uh, how, what do you say to those parents and uh, how exactly is that damaging the character of any uh, kid or a youth? Yes, of course, uh, because uh, pampering kids uh, and uh, just uh, not giving them some advices, advices uh, to, to be a good person in the, in the future. So it's a responsibility of parents to instill good work uh, habits in children. 
and uh, they should teach them uh, the appropriate way to complete tasks. Uh, parents uh, should explain to the child the reason behind the work. So it's very important to push the children from the early stage just to, to know the values of work and the values of their exist existence. When children are giving a task today, clearly know the reason behind and what uh, they are doing, not only uh, that they will understand the importance of their work, but convincing the preschool child that work is fun is somewhat easy and it's something that, uh, that they can do by implementing some fun activities with the child and attracting them to completing household uh, chores and with uh, which the child uh, uh, develop positive review. It's very important as well teaching um, um, uh, the children how to join the teamwork or involve the children and show them how to do the work. This encourages children to work more effectively when they are clearly trained uh, so that they can achieve outstanding performance. So um, it's very important to start teaching the children how to set different goals uh, to work towards achieving them, keeping in mind that uh, this is done by beginning by explaining reasonable goals to the child. Exactly. So uh, there must be a system, there must be a certain uh, value uh, to teach to the youngsters at uh, people at early age on how to start their lives and try to set a foundation uh, and uh, to be followed by uh, throughout your footsteps towards achieving your goals and until you reach what you want. And we have role models. Uh, talk to us about the importance of a good role model. Uh, to the early beginners. I mean, not necessary could I be a kid. I need to achieve something and I need a role model to follow uh, their footsteps. The importance of a good role model in the, uh, in the sense of a father, a mother, an icon, uh, a relative, a friend. How does it work? Yes, role model is very important value to teach the children and just to to let the children follow uh, a good role model. The parents must be an example to their children regarding how to succeed through the hard work and practical message must be conveyed to the child, increasing that the work must be accomplished even if it's difficult. So setting a role model from the early stage for, for children is very important. So, for example, if you'd like to be a doctor, we have a role model, a doctor, so he did so, and so if you want to be like that doctor, so you have to study work, you have to do so, one, two, three, three, and then exploring the interests of the children from the early beginning, how to prepare them um, to have a good role model, and then to, to, to build the characters and the educational system to achieve the, the desired role model in the future. Right, Dr. Mah Mahgoub, uh, you are a human development expert and senior consultant. I'd like to thank you so much for talking to The Breakfast Show. We're going to go to a short break and we'll come to continue the show for now. So stay with us.